Care Order Sports here with Jason Quigley at Animal. Uh, man, big fight uh, scheduled, man. I was excited when I heard about it. Uh, Glenn Tapia, you're uh, starting off Golden Boys' whole uh, series with ESPN, man. First, tell us what it's like just the fact that they kind of bestowed that, that honor on you to kind of open up this whole deal with ESPN, Golden Boy, that whole partnership. Yeah, you know, it's a privilege that they, they thought of me and um, that they're willing to let me showcase what I got on one of their biggest stages this year. You know, this is going to be a very exciting fight. It's going to be a great fight to be published on ESPN with the first collaboration between Golden Boy and ESPN. So um, this is great. This is exciting. You know, this is exactly the opportunity that I've been looking for and the opportunity that I want. You know, it's perfect timing. It's a perfect venue, a perfect setup, perfect opponent. You know, everything's going to plan, and I'm really excited to go on there and put on a show come March 23rd. You're fighting uh, another fighter, man, Glenn Tapia, who's um, you know kind of been been to the, the the pinnacle as far as like vying for a, a world title with um, uh, the Canadian guy. What's his yeah. name? Uh, David Lemieux. Uh, he fought, had a great fight with uh, James Kirkland. Um, Speaking of those fights, I mean, obviously, you know, he lost those fights by KO. You're a big power puncher. Do you look at those kind of specifically, kind of like, okay, well, how did he lose? Let me kind of emulate something like that, or is it more just let me be prepared for everything? Look, I took a quick look at Glenn Tapia. Obviously, I've never seen Glenn Tapia fight or, you know, until... I was told that I could be fighting him. Oh, really? Yeah, you know what I mean? And, of course, we're on the same undercard, but I wasn't... I was fighting, he was fighting, we weren't really, well, I don't know if he was looking at me or not, but I wasn't really looking or paying no attention to him. You know, I knew him and we were talking and we were having some fun, you know, before the fights and, you know, the build up to the fight, we were both on the undercard, so we were passing each other all the time and, you know, Glenn's a good guy, you know, I know him, as I says, from the undercard of the Canelo Can show. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't, I don't concentrate on Glenn Tapia or nothing like that. I take a look at him, I see what kind of style, I see what, you know, what's there to expect, you know. But Glenn could come with a different game plan, a different style, you know, come fight night. But my aim and my goal is just to be 110% prepared, no matter what Glenn Tapia brings. I will be prepared, and you know, I get in to every fight as if it's a world title fight. And everybody that steps in through them ropes and that's in the opposite corner from me, that's somebody there to take something away from me. And I'm not going to let no man take anything away from me. He's going to be in for one hell of a night. Your, uh, this fight, obviously, it's a, it's a big name. He's been there before. This is kind of your main stage as far as ma main eventing this, the, the ESPN show. Do you feel now this puts you in like a top 10 contender spot or top five or wh wh where does this put you with a victory on that day wh where would that put you as far as ranking worldwide do you think obviously that's going to put me higher up the ladder than what i am right now you know what i mean but i let the people that's in charge of that take care of that you know i don't care what rankings i am or i don't care where i'm at do you know what i mean because i just have one goal and i have one aim and that's becoming number one and become a world champion and I don't care where I'm at in the rankings, as long as I'm taking the right path, the right journey, which I know I am, because I have a great team around me, my management team, my coaches, and also Golden Boy Promotions. You know, we're a driving force, we're a team to be reckoned with, and we're on the path right now to becoming world champion. And it's all about keeping that focus. Glenn Tappy is another hurdle. He's another obstacle in my way, and I just have to eliminate him. Let's talk about this gym, man. Your gym here, obviously, we've been interviewing here since you know last year and before. But you, you guys aren't a secret anymore, man. There's like everyone here. We saw Quigley here. Mike Conley's now here. Uh, obviously, um, Valdez. I mean, tell us kind of what's what's it been like this last transformation of the gym, just like in the last year or so. It's been amazing, you know. And people come here because people know that we're hungry fighters. People know that. We're not in here to, to look good, to say we're professional fighters and to put stories up on Snapchat and all this, of course. Of course that comes with it, social media is a part of it. But behind all that, we're working even harder than what you see on social media and everything like that. You know, we're a great team here, we're a great setup, everybody's friendly, everybody gets on well, but once you step in through them ropes, it's time to go to work and it's time to push each other on. And that's the thing about it, we push each other on. You know, Oscar, has led the way, Jesse has led the way to showing us 
that it's possible to become world champion. And it's all about us following in each other's footsteps now. It's all about us taking advantage of training with world champions. And it's all about us now to put in the hard work, to stay focused, to stay disciplined, and to lift them straps. I was going to say, having that, I mean, speak on that a little bit, like the fact that you know Oscar didn't have a championship before and, and he grew into it. Obviously, Jesse came in his first fight in, he wins a world championship. I mean, you guys are like like right there, you know what I mean? Like you, the, you yourself are right there, you know what I mean? What, what does that feel like to know like these guys did it, I'm, I know I'm next in line? Success breeds success. Iron sharpens iron. You know, as I said, Jesse and Oscar went out there and showed us and proved to us that what we're doing in here works. What the work, the hard work, the dedication, the discipline that we put in, that's what it takes to become world champion. And we're all doing the same in here. So there's no reason for us not to become world champion. But it's up to us individually to go out there and to live the life outside the gym also. You know, you can come in here, you can work your ass off every day, you can work hard. If you're not eating right, if you're not sleeping right, if you're not living the clean life, it'll not happen for you. You know, so you have to live a clean life. You have to, you have to be disciplined, and you have to want this more than anything. And you know, and that's what that's that's the vibe that gets off in here. No, definitely a championship mentality in here.